What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm Katie and on today's video I have my March week four budget check-in. So in this video we're going to go through all of my spending for the last week of March up until the 28th. And if I spend any money after the 28th it will just be reflected in my monthly budget closeout. So I like to do these check-ins to make sure I'm staying on track in all of my budget categories for the month. It's just a way to hold myself accountable, but I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's go ahead and get started. So on the 22nd, we did buy a gift card from Amazon. This was for my father-in-law's birthday. So his birthday um, was also in March. It's actually the day after my dad's. So we bought him a gift card for $50, but I only had $46 left in the holiday and gift fund. So I took $46 out of that fund. So we have nothing left in it now. And then I took the other $4 from my miscellaneous fund. So these two transactions here were just basically one transaction. It was one gift card, but I had to take part of the money from two different funds since I didn't quite have enough in my holiday and gift fund, which is fine because that's why I have this miscellaneous fund to cover things that either don't have a fund or if I go a little over on a fund. So it was perfect that I had the money in miscellaneous to use. On the 23rd, I bought a few savings challenges from Etsy. And I know that I don't need any more savings challenges, but um, my friend Bobby from Life with Bobby, she opened her um, Etsy shop for the first time and she had some really cute savings challenges. Um, she had some Pokemon scratch offs that I figured would be perfect for my boys to use. And I just wanted to support her. And then I also bought a few things from Wendy at the Thrifty Sewist because I've been looking at her shop for a while and have um, wanted to purchase. And I figured since I was purchasing from Bobby, I may as well buy those things from Wendy as well. So that was $35.78 and that came out of my spending fund. On the 23rd, we also went to the grocery store and did our haul for the week. So that was $211 from Kroger and that came out of our grocery fund. Also on the 23rd at Kroger, I bought some dog treats and some cat food. So all together, that was $74.95 and that came out of our pet fund. I also bought protein bars for my husband this day and that was from Amazon. So that was $30.26 and that came out of our grocery fund as well. Also on the 23rd, we had a lot on the 23rd. I bought a shirt for my son Logan from Amazon and this was for school. So they had like a coffee house style poetry reading and they had to dress in like all black or they could dress like kind of in tie dye and like hippie theme. But he just did the all black thing and he already had most of the stuff that he needed, but he needed a shirt that was like all black with nothing on it. So I went ahead and ordered that from Amazon and I did take that out of our school fund since it was for school. So that was $18.18. .18. Moving on to the 24th, we did go to dinner with some friends. And I know last week when I did this video, I talked about how we went out to eat and it was just like a bad experience. And I was like, we don't need to go out to eat anymore. But because we were going out to eat with other people, um, it was actually my son, Logan, his best friend from school, his family, we're friends with his family now. And we went to dinner with them and it was such a good time. Like I don't mind spending the money on eating out when you know, you're with good company and the food was actually good too. So we spent $120.04 that came out of our eating out fund, but I didn't mind spending that at all. It was actually a good experience this week. Also on the 24th, I got gas for the car that I drive. So it was $44.66 from Shell and that came out of our car gas fund. On the 25th, I paid my boys for their chores this week. So that was $29 for both boys and that came out of their spending. Also on the 25th, I had my emissions done on the car that Mark drives, but it's in my name. So the registration for that is due on my birthday in April. So I had to get the emissions test done before then so that I could pay the registration in April. So that was $25 and it came out of our car maintenance fund. On the 26th, we had a no spend day. On the 27th, I did go to the grocery store again and I got food for the last week of the month, which wasn't really a full week. But when I planned out my grocery budget for March, I knew that I would have to go to the grocery store like five times. But this last haul was smaller since it only covered a few days. So as I'm filming this, it's the 29th and I bought plenty to last till the end of the month. So I'm not going to have to buy food again. So this was $166.87 and that came out of our grocery fund. And then on the 28th, we had a no spend day again. All right, so now we're going to go through all of our categories and see how we did for the month. So with groceries, we started with $1,501. You can see what we spent for each week. I'm not going to read it off, but we do have $6 left in our grocery budget. So that's even better than last month when we had $1 left. So I am very happy with that. 
For a pet, we started with $442 and we still have $180 left, which this is just amazing for us, which, you know, we did start with a higher amount, but I'm really proud that we didn't go too crazy buying dog treats and stuff because um, I would like to take the dogs to the groomer soon and I need to kind of build up this fund for their summer vet bills. So I'm glad that we have some money left in there. For my spending, I started with $428 and I have $45 left to roll over into next month now. For Mark's spending, he started with $885 and he is technically over $17, but I've already said this in like the past three videos, but he actually got some birthday money mid-month because his birthday was in March. So he's not technically over and this will all even out when I do my March budget closeout. For my boys spending, they started with $339. They only have 22 left, but that's okay because the next time I have to pay them for their chores, it will already be April. So this $22 will just roll over into April and be added to that money. For a miscellaneous, we started with 108 and we did spend some this month. So we only have $32 left, but that's okay. I don't ever want our miscellaneous fund to be too big because then I'll probably spend it on you know, random things that I don't really need. So I want to keep it kind of small. So I'm, I'm okay with only having $32 left and I will add a little bit more to this for April. For house bills, we started with 1,258 and we have 487 left, which will all roll over into next month, which is great because we have to pay our HOA bill. So we pay our HOA in January and in April, and that's all for the year, but it is due in April. So um, this is more than enough to cover that. And then we'll still have some leftover. So that's great. For car gas, we started with 353 and now we have 101 left. And I'm pretty sure in these last couple of days that I will have to get gas again. Um, I'm not sure about Mark. He did not get gas yet this week. So I'm thinking he probably will. But even if we both get gas, it won't be over $100, I wouldn't think. So that should be fine. For car insurance and maintenance, we still have $945 left. And I said this last time, but um, our car insurance is due in May. So that's why we have a lot in here now because I do car maintenance and car insurance like out of the same fund. So we'll be paying this in May. So we're trying to build this up a little bit right now. For school, we started with 4,629 and we still have 4,450. This is another one that we'll, we're building up right now because in the summer we pay my kids tuition for the hybrid program that they do. And then we'll also have to buy new curriculum in the summer. So we're kind of building that up right now, but in the summer we'll use these funds. For holiday and gift, we started with 447 and we don't have anything left, but that's okay because in April we're putting more money into this. For eating out, we started with 310 and we have $18 left, which I'm happy with. I'm always happy to have money left in eating out. We started out really strong this month in eating out. Like we didn't spend much the first two weeks, but then the second half of the month we spent way more, but it's okay because we still had money left over. So not mad about that. For house things, we started with 470 and we only spent $12 a whole month. So we still have 458 left. So that's amazing. We're trying to build this fund up as well. Then for family, we started with 419. We only spent 44 the first week, so we still have 375 left. And my boys have spring break in April, so we're probably be gonna be using some of this money in April to do some fun things with them. We're not going on a trip or anything, but there's a couple of things that we want to do. So hopefully we can use some of this money at that time. So that is everything for this last week of March. I'm really excited with how March went. It was a really good month for us. Now it helped that we did have a three paycheck month. So we did have a little bit more money in some of these categories than we normally would. So that was helpful. And then we also got our tax return this month and I'm excited to do my March budget closeout and show you guys how we use those funds. But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already. I would really appreciate it and I will see you in the next video. Bye.